Back here in the Living 808 Lounge with the youth soccer team made up of students from all over Hawaii, really. And uh, they just played in a tournament in Europe. We've got, let me introduce them. First, we've got Coach Kit down there on the right. We're going to talk to him in just a second, but I want to introduce the boys to you. This is pretty, pretty cool. We've got Jace. Go ahead, you guys can wave. Yeah, there you go. Make your TV debut. We got Jace, we got Kai, we got Jace, we got Malik, and we got Radley. Yeah, there we go, guys. Okay, Coach, uh, just for fear of not being able to get the name right, go ahead and tell us the name of your team and uh, how you got these, all, these guys all together. Tell, tell us about the team. Sure, so it's Bundesliga Academy Talent Identification Program, and it's a program that's spearheaded by David Mueller, who's an elite uh, German soccer agent. Okay. And David represents some of the best U.S. soccer players in the world, some that were actually in the last World Cup. And David also goes around the country looking for untapped American soccer talent, like these boys right here. Perfect. And through those travels, he met a local guy named Chris Cleveland, who runs the local soccer club. Okay. And so was born what we call Hawaii Bad ID. And in this program, these boys get unique training opportunities. They get experience international tournaments, play against European professional academies. Um, they also get to do some things locally in unique facilities. And it's really an, an introduction to the European way of soccer and the professional pathway. Two of the boys from last year's program are actually now at Major League Soccer Academies on the mainland. Amazing. It's, uh, it opens some incredible doors. Let me ask you, Jace, um, what was it like for you guys playing uh, against teams in Europe? It was really different. They play a lot faster, more physical, yeah. technical. Their speed of play is a lot faster, mm -hmm. but we just had to realize that we had to match it, and that's how it happened. Kai, let me ask you this. Um, when you play against a team like that, that, do you think that it makes you work harder? It makes you think that you gotta, you gotta work that much harder uh, when you come back home? Oh yeah, definitely. Like, to keep up with the speed of play. Like, if you wanna like play like major league in Europe, then you gotta keep up with the play. Okay. Um, let's move on now to uh, the next Jace. Uh, how many games did you guys play? We played. Let me, let me help you out with that. There you go. So we can all hear you. We played six games in uh, Spain, four games in Portugal. Wow, that's amazing. Malik, how, just talk about the trip itself. Because uh, playing soccer is one thing. You can do that on just about any field. But going so far away to play, tell me what that was like for you guys. Yeah, I mean, um, going basically halfway across the world is like nothing I've ever done before and playing against people who could be going pro mm -hmm. is like just amazing. Radley, let me ask you, um, I want to get through all the boys. Uh, Radley, what did you learn? What did, what did you think you and your teammates learned about this trip? Um, I think that we all learned that to be on that level, that just intensity and level of play, is very difficult and you have to work for that and just go out there and try your hardest. Who wanted to do a shout out for some of the boys that couldn't make it? Um, Let's Jason, go ahead and pass that yep. mic back down. Um, Jace, you, obviously you got the five of you, but it takes 11 on the field and I'm sure you guys probably have what, 14? No. 14 on the team, 12? It takes and seven. Se oh, seven. Okay. It's a seven v seven. Seven turn. versus seven, yeah. perfect. Yeah. I'm glad. So In you're Portugal. missing a couple guys. Shout yeah. them out, go ahead. So. We only have five here, but Isaiah, he's also on a wall. He's, he's sick. Mm -hmm. He's our defender. CJ, he's in, uh, he's in Florida right Florida, now. yeah. Okay. He's, um, he was like 10. He's played midfielder, wing, forward. Also, Maverick and Oren, mm -hmm. they're on Kauai. They're also really good teammates to us. That's awesome. Coach, I, I want to get back to you real quick because I kind of buried the lead. You guys actually went up there and won a tournament. We did. We actually won the Silver Championship in the M Madrid Ibra Cup. This is one of the most elite tournaments in the world, and we played against professional academies from Spain and Portugal, and some of our other teams played against teams from England, from Japan. And that must was, make you feel pretty good knowing that you put together a team that actually went up there and beat some of the best. It, it was definitely two years in a row. The program has brought home a trophy. So unexpected, but very proud of these boys. 
Congratulations, you guys. Thanks so much for being on Living Inuit. We really appreciate it. If somebody wants to know more information or maybe even try out for an upcoming tournament or a team, how do they go about doing that, Coach? Definitely. So you can go to hawaiibatid.org. Can you spell that for me? That's Actually, we're going to have that information. You don't have to do that. And you can sign up there, and it'll give you some details about the program, mm -hmm. what it represents, about some of the kids that have actually gone on from the program. And also, we post the tryouts there, probably be in late summer, early fall. The champions right here in the Living 808 Lounge. We really appreciate you guys. Uh, summertime, right? I was going to say, you guys got to go to school. Yes. Is, this is the trophy, right? Yes. Can I, can I touch it? Yeah. yeah. It looks like an Iron Man arm, but this is the trophy right here. This is awesome. Congratulations, you guys. This Thank is you. really, really great. Coach, congratulations. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you. Really appreciate and it. And I know we've got some proud parents in, the, uh, in the, the lobby watching the show right now. So congratulations to all of you parents, too. We really appreciate it.